the home diva and in today's video we will be touring the farmhouse now the farmhouse is out here at oakwood homes in lexington south carolina listen let's go right into the video i can't wait to show it to you all right y'all first things first and as usual i'm going to show you the exterior of the home it's a cute little house i actually love it unfortunately i'm not able to circle around back as i stated in a previous video they spotted a snake in the back of one of these homes and i don't do snakes so this is a good view of the front you do have a built-in little entry area here and what's even better when you open the door you also have a built-in entryway when you walk in the door absolutely beautiful let's take a look at this first Okay, so this foyer is, I think, the perfect size. You can do a bench here. You can even put a table, a, a narrow table on the opposite wall if you chose. I like that they show you different things that you can do here. They have the, uh, the uh, coat rack. They also have like this mudroom area where you can have hooks and a mirror so you can check yourself on the way out the door. You can sit on the bench and... Uh, tie your shoes or take your shoes off and also if you answer the door for someone you don't know this is the only area they see so really really nice i absolutely love it i'm always talking about how you can create a foyer or entryway but clayton holmes did it for us so now going into the kitchen really nice space for a kitchen you have a a side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator in this one so you have room for a nice size refrigerator whatever ref refrigerator you choose just wanted to give you a little peek inside you also have lots of storage uh, space in here um, a nice beverage station love the backsplash that they used um, here such a pretty blue really really nice very nice and then you also have a pantry in this one you guys so if you don't have to worry about additional storage space giving you a look at the cabinets there you don't have to worry about additional storage space because you have a pantry and anytime there is a cattle corner pantry you have additional room so this is a walk-in okay take a look y'all you got lots of space in here you can store food items you can store appliances or a little of both really nice the backsplash continues on around again really pretty always love the butcher block island um it's such a contrast between the regular island that you have on the exterior of the kitchen love it love the fact that you have windows here on either side of the refrigerator really nice super nice so this is the look inside this particular refrigerator I mean, excuse me this particular stove may not be the one you order but it'll give you an idea what this one looks like so really lovely love the stainless steel hutch that matches the com the appliances in this kitchen and again there is the butcher block in addition to butcher block they have a natural color wood as the island you have outlets in here and the outlet that i just showed you you can plug up a regular appliance or you can just plug up your phone for charging so really nice absolutely love it there's that uh dishwasher that they have in the island i always love it when the island is big enough that if the sink is in it it doesn't take away from the space that you have on the island so very nice you can put three to four bar stools depending on how they're made at this island i would probably do a bigger uh two pendant light much bigger than those but I mean you take it and then you go make improvements as you go here's your dining room area next to the kitchen I could see myself with a longer table in this area just so that I have space to seat more people you could probably seat six to ten people in this area and still have room to walk around but I see why this size table is here because it lines up with the counter if you have a small family that works like that will work for me and my husband but if you have a larger family you could put a larger table there 
Then you have this den or family room on the opposite side of the dining room. What I like about this room is how nice and bright it is in this area. You can absolutely put a uh, sectional in here or um, lots of extra additional seating if you have a bigger family like they did in this room. And you can put a larger TV in this area. Now to do so on that feature wall, you probably need to take some of that um, open shelving down but you definitely could put a larger TV over there. So really nice. All right, I'll give you another look of the kitchen area. Again, you have your foyer right here. This is your kitchen. The foyer opens into the kitchen and then you have your dining room and living room there. So absolutely wonderful. Now off the kitchen, down this hallway first room to the left is going to be bedroom number one this is one of your additional bedrooms the bedrooms unlike the common area that uh which is vinyl the bedrooms have carpet i love the darker gray carpet in here um you have a walk-in closet in here uh excuse me a standard closet in here and you have lots of space you can put a full or queen size bed in this room so really lovely across the hall from the first bedroom is your additional bathroom also another nice space you have um, your tub and shower is in here you have a divider wall where your toilet is so it provides a measure of privacy Love that you have space for your personal hygiene products in here. And the counter space on the sink is really nice as well. So depending on how many people you have sharing this bathroom, it should be adequate space for everyone. So that is absolutely awesome. Another nice bright room with that big window. Really lovely. So we saw the first bedroom and bathroom. Next to the bathroom, you have a linen closet. You can use this closet for your sheets and towels. You can either even use it for storage for say toilet paper and different things like that. So very nice. And then across from the linen closet is your second additional bedroom. Sorry, I don't have the specs for this house. This is the farmhouse and you can find it on Clayton Homes of Lexington if you want to google it but you have another standard closet in this room as well and um it's out at clayton homes in lexington south carolina so if you're in the area go check it out they were really friendly and there are a lot of homes on this lot at the end of the hallway you have your side door and then you have your laundry room beautiful laundry room like this isn't a big house by any means but the rooms all have a nice size i was trying to open that door but that was really the ac and they need to put the doorknob on again this house needs to be put in transit to get to your um property so everything won't be perfect uh, when you go and visit, but they will make sure it's perfect before they finish So anyway, nice size laundry room. You've got a counter so you can uh, Fold clothes and you've got lots of space for your laundry room needs. So very nice So now we're gonna walk back through the house to get to the master the master is actually off the foyer area There's a door there. It doesn't open into the common area but you do have access to the foyer. So this is the master, really like nice room. You can put a king size bed between those two windows, which is always a plus. And it is such a nice space, such a big room that if you didn't want um, a dresser in that area, I could even see two chairs at a table. So really nice. You've got your master closet here. It is a walk-in closet. I don't think I would be able to share this space, but it's perfect for somebody. You know, my husband and I utilize separate closets in our house 
because our master closet is about that size so it's mine and we have a, another walk-in closet in each of the additional bedrooms and so he utilizes one of those something to think about if you get a house and the closet isn't big enough now this one does have barn doors um gives it a kind of rustic feel you can close them or leave it open for privacy um, and if you don't like the rustic look then you could probably put French doors there instead of barn doors so really lo lovely or two door regular doors I'm thinking about the glass French doors but you could put two regular doors there as well there is your double sink lots of storage and shelving space really pretty the whole aesthetic of the house i think makes it nice and light and bright love the two big windows in this bathroom and how they have the tub cattle corner that deep tub would be perfect to take a nice relaxing bath light some candles really lovely also you have a large shower in this room love the tile in the shower and you have a rain shower shower here so really lovely this is one of those big showers that has like a twin size bed the size of a twin size bed i absolutely love it i also love the fact that it doesn't have a door but it has the glass there to protect the floor from water really nice because all that glass is really a pain to clean <laughs> so anyway this has been the master bedroom or the primary or the main bedroom whichever you call it so now let's go see how much it costs all right i hope you've enjoyed touring this home with me again this is the farmhouse it's out here at oakwood homes in lexington south carolina this home is a three bedroom two bath it's 1756 square feet home only price is 157093 Setup and delivery, basic setup and delivery brings it to $180,793. All right, if you have any other questions regarding this home or you want to see it, all the information is in the description box below.